Hello. Hello. And welcome to a new episode. We <laughs> are back. part way through a very long drive up to North Wales. And uh, we've had to stop because this is a very beautiful spot, but somewhere we've actually been before and we couldn't appreciate the beauty of it. I mean, this is where we walked on the first day where Israel joined me on my walk from John O'Groats Land's End and we had the worst weather of the entire trip. We were miserable, we were cold. The wind was so strong, the rain was so strong. People were stopping in their cars to check we were okay and we didn't even bother coming to the viewpoint because we couldn't see anything. There's a viewpoint. Honestly, I'm so grateful to have the car this time. <laughs> yeah, and now we're heading, we're heading towards somewhere where we're going to be nice and cosy tonight. I'm excited to show you as well this place. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I have yeah. no idea. Right, we better get a move on though, because... We want to get there before dark. Exactly. I love driving through Wales, not walking through Wales. <laughs> snow on a mountain in the distance. Look how much wow, snow it's it really snowy. Oh, We've made it all the way up here to North Wales. I think we're looking out over Anglesey over the sea there. I still don't know where we're staying. I've seen a few interesting signs. It says Longhouse, but I don't really know what to expect. I'm thinking like a Viking long ship. Long ship. <laughs> I really don't know what to expect. White trainers are not ideal for this terrain. Whoa. Is that a longhouse? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, it's literally underground. Whoa. Oh. I hope it's open Oh my for us. god. <gasps> Whoa, it's so big. <laughs> this is all for us. Yeah. This is so oh. cute. Oh, there's a fire. Yeah. Oh, it's really cool, Tom. I really love oh, it. it'd be fun to have a whole group of people here, yeah. wouldn't it? Can you imagine like having a good dance and a beer? Hunt and hunt. We've got bed each. Mm. <laughs> Moving in. Just to help, mate. That's all right. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Maybe you can take it. Don't worry about it. It's pretty heavy. The first thing I always do when we get to a new place like this is making myself a cup of tea, of course. Right, here's a cooked dinner. Oi! No, you didn't do the again. There's I've no... decided to cook us some sushi tonight. I'll show you how it's done first, if you like. There we go, as your professional sushi maker. Great. That looks like way too much rice. No, no, no. You spread it all over the whole thing. Do you? <laughs> Take food. Carrot. Use a cloth to squeeze it, I think. It's all about the squeeze. I love sushi so much. I'm going to have a go. Tofu. Viking sushi. They probably did eat a lot of seaweed and rice. Fish. Oh, yeah. Not rice. No. <laughs> I'm going in. It's cold tonight, isn't it? Yeah. Quite far north, I guess. Yeah. Pretty level with like somewhere very really far north. <laughs> We've just been lying by the fire watching a bit of TV on our laptop and we saw a little face at the window. Mm -hmm. Got a little cat coming and joined us. It's so cute. Really cute. <laughs> His tongue's out. His tongue's out. Yeah. What are you doing, you silly Willy? Do you think she's like really hot? It looks like she's dead. Oh gosh, don't die on me. I look guilty as anything. Killed her. Was thirsty. Lovely bit of hard word, isn't it, Tom? Yeah, a lovely bit of hard word. <gasps> He's back. Hello, did you have a nice drink? Good morning everyone. Oh, it's nice waking up in the longhouse. 
and there's a shower outside. I wasn't convinced it was going to be hot, but it actually did get warm after a while. And it was a shower with a view, let me tell you. It's been a frosty night, fresh dusting of snow on the mountains in the horizon. Really beautiful. It's that quietness you get after a layer of frost. It just feels like the perfect weather to be experiencing a Viking longhouse in. I don't know about you, but I, I, I fancy like going and going up into the hills and seeing yeah. the snow. Let's do it. Yeah. Because obviously it's nice being in the cosy hut underground, but you don't really get a sense of what the weather's like. But when you come up here, the sun is out. It's a really nice day to go walking in the hills. We've arrived at the car park, and I've got to say I'm pretty pleased because we did a lot of climbing in yeah, the car we're up the hill. Yeah, quite high. Yeah, so we've got less to hike up once we're up here. And judging and by the car park, we're going to be all on our own. Yep, we've got the place to ourselves. No one else is here, and it's a beautiful day to be up here looking the, out. This landscape is stunning. Yeah. Like, you can see the sea. You can see, it reminds me quite a lot of Ireland. We have set off, and this is about a four-hour hike. My fingers are already really cold. Wow. Look at that, the skyline is amazing. There's something about a winter walk that's special. No one else is around. This is my ideal kind of walk, having panoramic views from the beginning. You don't even need to start climbing to get them. And the other feeling I'm getting is, oh, I'm excited that, that like, I know winter's difficult, but there's something kind of hopeful about the fact that we've got like the spring and summer to come. I was just looking at the little sheep thinking, Oh, the lambs will be coming soon. Spring's on its way. <laughs> There's something special about knowing that that's all to come. I wish I bought some sort of paints or pencils or something just to paint the skyline. It's so gorgeous. I say that like I'm a painter. I haven't painted in years, but this is this is inspiring the art. <laughs> that feels even more like you're a painter. Oh, I haven't painted in years. Oh, I'm a little bit rusty. <laughs> oh, don't make me fall off. Um, <laughs> I haven't picked up the paintbrush in years. <laughs> no, but it's, it's inspiring the artist in me, these views. This first peak is quite a cool one. It is actually the site of the Iron Age Hill Fort and is known as the village of the giants. I really like the way that these houses are like so close together and they entwine and there's little pathways between them. I like the idea of the people living up here, the 400 people living up here, all being connected. And there's something I love about when history is still alive, it's still the same building that someone lived in if not a bit dishevelled. <laughs> what? A little bit dishevelled. <laughs> a little bit past its best. Oh, we made it to the first peak. It is bitterly cold. And no, I think we're the only ones up here. I can't see any other footprints in the snow. Whoa. You see such depth with the mountains up here. There's, there's even more behind. I'm just happy in the knowledge that we've got our Viking longhouse to go back to. Get a nice big fire stoked up. Woo! I'm alive! That sea looks stunning. If it wasn't like zero degrees, I'd want to go for a swim. I've got an idea. I think we should go and have our view from the car, like grannies eating in the front, eating their lunch in the front at the parking spot. I've got somewhere in mind for you, Thomas. Isabel wanted to sit in the car like an old granny and watch the waves from in here and eat some food. Mm -hmm. So I think she's got her way because it's high tide, so there is no beach. Anyone else love doing this? Going and driving in the car and having a little picnic with a view. I might be a granny, but I'm happy. Home sweet home. I love a little home so much. <laughs> Stop it, Get, hurry up, I'm freezing. Oh, yeah. Hurry up. <laughs> 
got so slow, it's painting me. <laughs> Come on, that's not funny. <laughs> Can you actually go in? <laughs> I'm really cold. <laughs> oh, what's it like in there? No, oh, no, no, no. It is toasty. We're cooking our dinner for tonight and all of our tins don't have a ring pull and there's no tin opener here, so Tom's using a knife and it's making me cringe. You be careful, boy. As part of our uh, Weekends Away series, we're trying to cook a really nice whole, whole food, healthy recipe each time we stay somewhere and a new recipe that we've not tried before. What's it? It's like a butternut squash red pepper stew. I'm not sure of the exact name. Yeah, something like that. I'm glad Tom chopped up that butternut squash because that is the part that makes me aggravated. I don't like cutting it up. It's so big and it takes so long. Right, I'm going to go have a shower. Enjoy. Okay. I'm cooking in my favourite way. I'm cooking like it's on Blue Peter. I've got everything chopped up. Got it all nicely laid out in little bowls. Okay, this is proving a little bit more difficult than I thought, getting out of this tiny hole. <laughs> we will do it. You're supposed to make this recipe in a Dutch oven, but we're just using a pan, boring old pan. Boring pan. Boring old pan, hey? Oh, How was that? Like the water was warm, but any part of your body which goes out of the water is pretty chilly. I'm not even that hungry yet, are you? Not really, no. I thought it'd be good to cook while I've got the energy, so I was gonna go for a nap or I'll cook. Have a shower. I've had one already, thank Can't you very much. One, you stink. One. I stink. I stink. You, you stink. We all stink for everybody. No, you stink for both of us. You stink for both of us. Let's be you honest. Stink for both of us. <laughs> so while I wait for the butternut squash to cook, I thought I'd try my hand at a little candle making. Thought it'd be a nice activity in this bad cold weather. When we were driving around in the van a lot and I'd be editing videos, Is wouldn't have anything to do. She would often get a little bit frustrated. She was trying to order enough candle making stuff to make 10,000 candles or something. And I said, try these first, <laughs> and if you enjoy it, then we can order the 10,000 candles. And she never used it. Didn't use it once. She used it once, we made a single candle. I made one beautiful Ma candle. I'm gonna use my kit now, and hopefully I really love it, and then I'll yeah, start mass try. producing it, guys. get a block of wax and I'm gonna do yellow one because I'm a sunshiny head. You making yours for anyone in particular? <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> I didn't actually mean that as a hint. I'm gonna give mine to my mum. Okay, it's all melted. My wax has melted beautifully on that wood fire. Now I've got to add basically all of this fragrance oil. There we go. Mix it all around. I think I just need to let it cool a little bit. You have to add the fragrance oil straight away because soy wax is has a higher melting point and you want the fragrance oil to blend with the, with the wax. Science lesson. I don't really know what I'm talking about, but I read that, that you need to add it while it's hot. Okay, I'm pouring my candle. <laughs> it's so heavy. I can't believe this is all going in our gob. Dunk. Yeah, we can't even like put down to oh, take yeah, it home. We have to try and eat all of this. Tonight. Challenge. Bean stew challenge. I've accepted it. Should we do a little taste test? Let's you, see. Yeah, taste test. Nice. I wouldn't say it's like the best thing I've ever tasted, but it's nice. It's healthy. Do you know what? No. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying like not drinking for a bit. <gasps> We've got Guinness. <laughs> Zero percent goodness. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. This looks amazing. Alright. It was a joint effort. That butternut squash is really well cut. Mm. <laughs> you got a morning visitor. That's it. Goodbye, long house. We'll miss you. Maybe we'll be back one day. It's been such a nice day. Yeah, hasn't it? a really nice day up in North Wales. Really lovely, crisp winter weather. Another really blue sky day today. Stop moving it around. Uh, it's a shame about my bossy girlfriend. <laughs> it's been so cold outside and inside the longhouse it's been really warm, really cosy. It's really I've well insulated a, underground, yeah. Yeah, had a really <laughs> lovely time up here in North Wales, an area I've never really explored before and somewhere I really want to come back to. I can see Anglesey over the water and I'm desperate to get over yeah, there. Yeah, same. And I can't tell you how much it feeds my soul to see the mountains out the window, even just when washing up, cooking. I love the way they're on the horizon just staring at us. 
thing. Climb me, <laughs> climb me, climb me. <laughs> right, anyway, we're signing off. This is so scary. It's literally the sign for frogs. That is a terrifying sign right there. This is looking hearty. No, we've already been. It's looking a bit farty. Oh, gosh. You're the farter of this relationship, aren't you, Tom? <laughs> that is such a lie. Weird how two people on the same diet can produce different gases. 